Welcome back once again to HowToCookGreatFood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, we're gonna make a fantastic grilled zucchini with some pasta today. It's like a bake, really good with a four cheese sauce. Let me run through some ingredients. I've got here some courgettes sliced. You can call them courgettes, kusa or zucchini, wherever you come from, I don't know what you call them. They're sliced into like a centimetre, about a centimetre. Pasta of your choice. I'm using this kind of macaroni today. I've got one cup of cream. And then our four cheeses, I'm using some cheddar, some cream cheese or like a Philadelphia. I've got some Parmesan there. And I've got a nice piece of blue cheese. I've got a bit of gorgonzola. Any cheese you like, quite frankly, but I would recommend that the Parmesan and a type of blue cheese is in there. I've got one red onion, which I'm gonna fry off in a little bit of oil. Teaspoon of chopped garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. Go careful with the salt, depending on what cheese you use. And I've got here a little bit of marjoram. Now you could use oregano or basil or a combination of whatever you like really. Just gives it that little bit of Italian flavor. So there's gonna be in a lovely cup, cup there, one cup of cream. I'm gonna use a nice creamy sauce. It's, it's, there's no flour involved in this. It's fairly quick. Is it good? Yep. Yeah. Let's go and do it. Just a little tip for you. This is what I always do: is get the container that we're going to be using. This is our oven-proof dish. This is what I'm going to be using today. And I add my zucchini or courgettes in now, just to kind of roughly see how much I need. I'm going to do the same with the pasta as well. Don't forget your pasta is going to get about two to three times as big. So it's just like a kind of rough gauge that you can you can sort of just judge exactly how much you need. Okay, very simply, we're gonna start off with our courgettes or zucchini. I've got a griddle pan here. We're just gonna pop these in nice and dry. We're gonna cook them for two or three minutes on each side. Really simple. There's no need to put any seasoning on them, any oil on them, and nothing at all. Just straight and fresh like that. Now, for your pasta, which I'm gonna be cooking right now as well. Pasta is very simple. You need at least twice as much water to pasta. You need a large pot, you need a little bit of salt, and you need to have that water raging hot before you put your pasta in. I don't know what pasta you're cooking. My pasta is probably gonna take about four to five minutes. Then I just drain it straight out. I don't add cold water to it, I don't wash it. It's really simple. People get really complicated with their pasta. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna do these, get my pasta on, be back soon. Okay, so these are beautifully done as you can see. Now, they're still not cooked all the way through. The courgettes are quite a delicate little thing. We don't want to be ending up with a mush. I want them to be intact still. So out these come. My water's nearly boiled for my pasta. I've got some more of these to add. I'm gonna do that. See you later. Okay, so all my zucchinis are done. And as you can see, I've chopped them up now into kind of more manageable kind of bite-sized pieces. Now what we're gonna do is start our sauce. We've got a touch of oil in there. And we get our onion in. This is a very small pan. We'll get that garlic in. That marjoram or that herb of your choice. And then some black pepper, a touch of salt. Now let's just cook this for about three to four minutes. Keep stirring it. The, the heat's not that high, I don't want to burn these. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna add our cream and then our cheeses. I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, let's go. These are softening really nicely. There's an immense smell of that garlic coming out, which is great. I mean, what we've got is our pasta, which is very bland on its own. We've got our zucchini, which is very delicate. And as you notice, we didn't cook that with any oil or seasoning or spices, nothing. And that's because this is gonna be a monster. You know, we've got all that cheese happening, this garlic, 
the mixture of this sauce with the bland pasta, straight pasta, and the delicate zucchini or courgette, it's gonna work really well. Okay, here we go. Let's now get in that cup of cream. This is a single cooking cream. Let's get that parmesan in there. Let's go for this blue cheese. Let's get a bit of that cheddar happening there. And then we're gonna go for that cream cheese. See, as you can see, what a monster of a sauce this is. Now, the reason we don't need any flour in this is basically because the Parmesan, the cream cheese, will actually thicken this. You'll see, I mean, it's gonna be really thick. So let's give this a stir. Now, I keep stirring because we are cooking dairy products on heat. Never a good idea to leave it, it will burn. So get the heat through this now. The cheese will start to melt. That garlic and that oil and the onions will really kind of add another dimension to this sauce. And then what I'm gonna do, I've got one of these little bad boys, a submergible blender. I'm gonna get that in, give it a whiz up. It'll make it really nice and smooth. Then we can get over to the table. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Let's turn the heat off now. There's enough heat through there. Fantastic. So I'm gonna blend that. I'll see you at the table where we can get all three of the guys together. It's gonna to be super. Right, there you go. As you can see, this is a beautifully, beautifully thick sauce. Beautiful and enough for our pasta. I've just tasted it, it's delicious. Now what I'm gonna do, optional, I'm gonna add just a little bit of nutmeg, ground nutmeg, entirely up to you. That will give it that kind of familiar bechamel kind of taste, that nutmeg in there. Anyway, let's get over to the table. Start doing this. So here we go, I've got a bowl here, a mixing bowl, here's my pasta. Nice and hot still, you can see that. I'm gonna add now our char-grilled zucchini. Give this a mix. Now the reason I'm not doing this in the container, because I can just get a nicer mix on this, in this bowl. And then here goes our sauce. So simply, we're now gonna get this into our oven proof dish. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on the top, a tiny amount of salt, more pepper. Touch of Parmesan cheese, and then this can go straight in the oven. High heat, as high as your oven goes. In my oven, it's just gonna be about eight minutes on a high heat, and it is gonna be Delicious. And there we have it, it's absolutely fabulous. This is nice and crunchy on the top. Give me just a little taste. Wonderful. I'm gonna be having that with a great tomato salad. Hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you again soon, bye bye.